Welcome to this Face of Facts with Max Reese Extra. I'm joined by Jim Smith, current chairman of Webster Bank, former CEO, also with the Connecticut Economic Resource Center, and also former chairman of the Connecticut Commission on Fiscal Stability, Economic Competitiveness. Man, you've done a lot of stuff recently. Uh, uh, big titles. Um, five, ten years from now, what does the state's economic picture look like? Are we the arsenal of democracy? Are we making more of those engines? Are we making more of those aerospace components? Are we making all those submarines? And are we all in on that stuff? So I'd say uh, five to 10 years from now, we will have built on our natural strengths by recognizing what they are and investing in them, including providing the workforce of the future. So we have to bring companies together in their industry sectors. We have to bring all the educators together. We have more colleges per capita than I think any state in the country. We've got to get them to work closely together and with businesses to ensure that we provide that workforce for the future. We have to invest in transportation very, very significantly. If we make the investments we need to build the workforce of the future and to make Connecticut attractive and fiscally sustainable, yeah. Then Connecticut and, will win. And you, you, and you made a lot of recommendations in that fiscal stability report. You made a lot of them. But when we, made, we talk about investments, talk about infrastructure, all that stuff, is some of that code for some higher taxes, some of that code for I have to pitch in more, you have to pitch in more, and everyone on this production floor here has to pitch in more? Well, listen, under the category of you don't always get what you want, uh, the commission made a yeah, series right. of holistic proposals, which we felt that taken together could put Connecticut back on the yeah. path to growth and prosperity. Uh, I'm not working with the commission no, anymore. Right, I right. have a different set of responsibilities. But uh, I will say that some of the things that we have recommended have been considered and enacted. And it takes a while to yeah. do all the things that are necessary to achieve the fiscal stability that is a precondition, as our governor says, of economic growth. So I'm satisfied we got the word out there. People care about what we said. Not a lot of what we did has been enacted, but much of it is under consideration. Con Connecticut, in just about every policy standpoint, we're an aircraft carrier moving very slowly in either direction. The national headlines about the state just haven't been very yeah. kind to us. Do, we, do you see that shifting right now? Or if you're a regular working class family in Connecticut, do you kind of look around and go, man, I, I, I just don't know if it's going to get that much better. So we have to move faster. And Indra Nui, who is co-chair with me yeah. of the new CERC, uh, she is an irresistible force. She's yeah. an amazing, iconic visionary. And she's a driver. And we know that we have to drive. You know what else we have to do? We have to be more positive. Connecticut has so many positive things going for us. Are, the, are you saying that we're negative by nature I here in Connecticut? I think we tend to drag ourselves what are, what down a little bit, about? right? And there's actually more positives than negatives in Connecticut. Yeah. When I talk to a group of people, I always say, go home tonight and talk to your partner about things that are good in Connecticut. Health care, quality of life, most skilled workforce. I mean, you could tick down the list yeah. of 10 or 15 uh, educational capabilities. Uh, items that are all in the top decile in the country. We need to feature what we're good at instead of complaining about what we're bad at. And if we do that, we fill the vessel with positive ideas. We appreciate. This is why you retain before you attract from the yeah. outside. We have to believe in ourselves. And so we have to get the positive message out, which is one of the responsibilities we've taken on at CERC. Jim Smith, thank you so much for joining us. The notes from Jim. Thank Be you. Be positive about Connecticut for crying out loud. <laughs> Face of Facts you, with Max Reese is every Sunday at 10 a.m. on NBC Connecticut. Thanks for checking out Face the Facts with Max Reese on YouTube. If you want more politics in your feed, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell to be notified whenever there's a new video.